and welcome back to my channel so today I am going to do a book review and um, before anything else I would like to apologize about the lighting because I am well obviously recording this in my laptop and the lighting here isn't good because it's going to be nighttime anytime soon in my place so I truly apologize if I look a little weird or something in this video bear with me it's only my second video so <laughs> so just bear with me um, so today I'm going to do a book review and uh, the book that I'm going to talk about is Toto-chan and it's called The Little Girl at the Window by Tetsuko Koroyanagi um, and this book is originally written in Japanese and it's translated to English by Dorothy Britton. And um, when I was growing up in secondary school, everybody reads this book because they say it's really nice, it's really interesting, it's a simple read. And I can see why because this book is, is really incredible. And uh, I was really surprised that I don't find a lot of reviews on this book online. I did try to find it in YouTube but there isn't any. There isn't anyone reviewing about this book. And also um, there, in, there aren't a lot of reviews or like written reviews about this book. So if correct me if I'm wrong but if you have found any reviews or, or if you yourself like love this book or have read this book before please do share with me and um, write down in the comments below what you thought about the book. Apparently this book is actually a non-fiction. Um, surprise, surprise. I didn't know that myself until I read towards the end. Um, oops, spoiler alert. <laughs> uh, it's about this girl named Toto Chan and she goes to this school called Tomoe in Tokyo um, and this school is being founded by the headmaster whose name is Sosaku Kobayashi and um, it's situated in Tokyo during the period of World War II so this school is really different and as compared to other schools in Japan um, it's, a re it's really unconventional um, one thing that this school has and no other school has probably is that it's situated near a railroad station a train station so uh, their classrooms are all rail railroad cars you know train cars uh, they don't have like a specific curriculum so every day is a little bit different as compared to the day before when you learn English um, then you could learn English and then learn math after that or the next day if you want to learn science first then you could learn science first so there's really no fixed curriculum to this school it's really in the interest of the student and also they have many different types of activities like field trips and uh, camping over in the school and visiting like um, places of interest the book is being written in the narrative of the little girl so a lot of things when you read um, you see a lot of innocence um, and I think when you are a child or if you have if you read this in a very young age uh, you might think that this is just a storybook and it's really nothing much it's really innocent looking book um, but when you read it when you're older and you start to understand little things you start to realize that there are certain things that happen and it's and there's a reason for it, there's a reason why certain things happen. Toto Chan is a very curious girl. She She's very curious in a sense where she will just do anything and everything that is beyond normal. Um, and at times the teachers from a previous school um, will get really angry and annoyed by her. You know, she doesn't do what a teacher tells her to do. And she's always like asking questions and all of that. So when she's at her new school, a headmaster doesn't really like question her, but they kind of let her do a lot of things on her own, and also for other students. Students in this school, uh, some of them have special needs and some of them don't have special needs. So all the students are being taught to treat each other fairly, and to not see differences towards each other. Trying to teach the students in the school to not be biased with different with students or special needs but to equally accept them as friends and to be friends with them. The headmaster, I mean he is an incredible person I would say. He is really patient with the student and he's really passionate about his teaching. I highly recommend reading this book. It's an incredible book. One of those books where if you are 
an educator if you are just going to teaching at the end of the day do read this book i read this book 4.5 out of 5 stars it's it's a very bittersweet book you know it kind of makes you think and reflect a lot more at the end about the education system and about growing up in particular so i don't know i just i just feel so much for this kid for this little girl here and i felt so much of my childhood somehow or rather I have like a remnants of my childhood all of a sudden so, so that wraps up my book review um, and tell me what you guys think about this book if you have read it if you don't then just go grab it and I will see you guys in my next video thank you for watching bye